How good is Dallas? By the pause, you're probably you're probably wondering. You know, I actually I actually predicted Jacksonville to beat Dallas this week. Uh, probably one of the few guys that that made that prediction. I made it publicly. I do the Eagles pregame show uh, for NBC uh, locally, and I made that prediction because you know there was so much Micah Parsons talk last week. I said, you know, Dallas Cowboys better worry about the Jacksonville Jaguars, not the big upcoming Christmas Eve game against the Philadelphia Eagles. And you know, they were the ones that lost focus on that game, not the Philadelphia Eagles. You got to. I'm a big believer, Dan, and you know you you and I work together so many times. One play, one game at a time. You start looking down the road, that's when you find yourself in trouble. And the Dallas Cowboys were not focused against the Jacksonville Jaguars. I kind of sensed that prior to the week. I look at the tape. They're they're not a great football team. They're a good football team, but they're gonna have to play much better on both sides of the ball if they're gonna, you know, obviously they're a playoff team. You got to get in the playoff playing good football. They are not playing Dallas Cowboy good football right now. How, con- how much confidence would you have in Dak Prescott? You know, I have, he's an incredibly talented guy, uh, but I've always had him as a top 10 guy. I mean, it seems like the last five or six years, I felt he's in that top 10, but he hasn't crept up near the top. You know, is he getting the top three, the top four, the top five? There, there's always a blemish in his game. A but mistake what is he in missing, game. though, Jaws? I, I don't know. I, I really don't know, Dan, because I'm not there every day. Uh, and and you know the, when you're around a guy every day, you kind of get a feel for what what the strengths and weaknesses are. I can look at some mechanical things and say, hey, you know, uh, erratic throwing, not consistent accuracy, and you can blame it to improper mechanics, things like that. Also, doesn't have a real good, not a great receiving core. You know, uh, you know if you, if you look at look at Jalen Hurts and the receiving core he has in Philadelphia, wow, what a difference. Yeah, you know, there's CD Lamb and there's CD Lamb and there's CD Lamb. You know, there's really no one that scares you outside of CD Lamb. Take him away, Jay, and all of a sudden you got uh, a quarterback that becomes somewhat average.